Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. Today we are looking at Toastuck Pro. Hello, I hope you're all doing well. We're a little bit late today uh, because a YML was on, so I uh, hope you're all doing good out there. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, maybe I can prescribe some medicine or a tonic or some kind of cream that will help it go away. Um, you can always come over here to the YouTube at youtube.com slash jadestar, or you can go over to the uh, website howtoapponios.com, or you can watch on Twitch, good old Twitch, at twitch.tv slash howtoapponios. Cool bananas. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, I haven't done this for a while, so why not? Let's do it, yeah? Um, so if you don't know who I am, you're fairly new to the channel because we've had a whole bunch of new subscribers. My name's Jade Star. I happen to be a transgender musician, uh, creator, lots of... I have my uh, toe dipped in many kinds of things. This is my website. You can find all my music on at uh, howtoapponios.com or jadestar.com.au. Uh, so, yeah, I have a full website with uh, movies, videos. You can get lost to my website there. You can get lost. Totally. Um, so I play in like about six different bands. As you can see here, if I scroll to my page, which has all my projects on here, all my different bands and stuff. So you can go there at any time. Plus, you can always get to the How to App section. There's a little link right up the top, which has all episodes and all this kind of stuff. The live stream. So you can see you can stream it live in here. There's merch and all episodes and playlists and all that kind of stuff there. Pretty cool, yeah? Did you know that? Eey, let's say hello to people in the chat. So we'll shut that down. Who have we got here today? We have, let me look through my magic mirror. Magic mirror, romper bumper, stomper boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me do. Magic mirror, tell me today, have all my friends had fun at play? I can see Doug from the sound test room. And I can see Russ, 8889, and Ed B, and Synth Widow, she's here as well. Mwah. <laughs> Who else is here? Ivan Idea is hello. Hello, Ivan Idea. You've got an iPhone now. How sexy is that? Hello, GB Craw. Uh, thank you. I'm doing much better. Um, kind of, sort of. Getting better. Can almost walk as well as I was last week. Uh, Cy effing good to see ya. Uh, Tom Rochelle is here. Oh, yeah. Brad Example. Hello to you. Uh, SM Borthwick. Hi, Scott. Hope you're doing well. Deep Gravity, man. I'm going to give Deep Gravity some music. Deep Gravity is here. So good to see you, Deep Gravity. You get your own theme music. How's that? And a toilet flush for good measure. It's so good to see you, Deep Gravity. Ed B is here. I think I already said that. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I can't remember. My brain is... F Hello, Dan Eckberg. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here. I think I've covered most people. Hello, Sean Chandler. Good to see you. Alrighty, so what are we doing today? Um, Alright, so a couple of things I just want to cover before we get into it. So, iOS 14.5 has dropped, yeah? So if you haven't updated it, I've done it for you and tested it out. It, there's some teething problems. It seems like, though, it seems like the I, the AUV3 plug-in thing has kind of sort of been fixed. I haven't had any issues. Thank you so very much, I have an idea. For the clubhouse! For the clubhouse! Clubhouse, where we monkey around and act like dicks. Thank you very much. I have an idea. We're going to see you there soon. Hello, Pete Johns in the chat as well. Um, so iOS 14.5 dropped, and I can report, so it's not all good news, but I can report that the AUV3 bug thing where they were disappearing hasn't happened to me. So that's one thing. I haven't seen it at all. So I've had iOS 14.5 installed for two days and haven't had any issues losing AUV3s. But... 
there seems to be another issue that people are talking about. So let's let's get it out of the way and talk about it here. So there's been uh, chatter, there's been posts that people are experiencing crackles and pops when they're using things like AUM and Cubase. I experienced it yesterday using AUM and when I was uh, playing around with Tonestack Pro. So whenever I'd stop playing the guitar, there was this weird crackling. Um, I tried to reboot the iPad, didn't fix it. I tried to shut down AUM, didn't fix it. Close uh, the, all the apps, come back. What worked for me was to, uh, while my iPad was on, was to turn off my UR20, Steinberg UR22 and turn that off and turn it back on. And ever since I haven't had that problem. So if you are coming across this weird crackling in any of your doors where, when you've got a guitar plugged in or anything, try that it seems to have worked i think doug had the same issue when he was messing around uh today and he did the same thing turned off his audio interface and back on and it seemed to have fixed it so that's something i can report hopefully that's all it is i do recommend whenever you install an ios update especially a major one like from to 14.5 reboot your ipad do a do a hard reset so it just cleans out any of the gunk that may be floating around just do that it's a really healthy thing to do immediately after and and uh, update I, I don't think that's i think that's all i had to kind of say on that but yeah i think it's safe to update at your risk all right take the risk it's all up to you um so we are looking at today the new yonak app of tone stack pro and let's have a look at it Bring it up here on in um, the App Store, Tone Stack Pro. So I've seen a lot of people say, but I already own Tone Stack. Why would I pay for this? Why would I do it? Well, let's talk about it. Let's get the elephant out the room because you may think that, you know, why should I pay for it? All right. So the original Tone Stack was an inter app audio app only and i know how people bitch and fuss about that because it's so important to have AUV3 and yet we all like to have AU3 V3 the new tone stack pro has AUV3 okay now i've seen people say but why didn't they just update the old version okay so as a developer you got to remember when you're developing an app and you don't have something included in it it depends on how you actually made that app and how easy it is to actually update that app to have AUV3. It's not always possible just to like slap AUV3 in there. So that's that out the way. Let's talk about the cost of it now because it's a really cool app, all right? You're going to see it's absolutely really cool. You want to make fantastic apps and I think most of you will have a lot of their apps because I think for their anniversary, was it? this year they dropped all their apps to 99 cents and if you didn't get them then you're crazy right so they make really good apps uh get that out the way so with this new app it's on sale at the moment for 4.99 introductory price you get a whole heap of stuff with it just for that price so you get a shit ton of stuff off the bat yeah now um the in-app purchase is 19.99 these are going to go up. So if you're going to get hold of this, do it now because it's only going to get more expensive. And as I'm going to explain before we jump into this, two of my favorite guitar sims that I use are Tonebridge. It's free and it's fucking awesome, right? And Bias FX2. And I don't really care what people say about Bias FX2. I own the full unlock. It's a really sick app if you really, you know, Sit, sit down and create some sick tones on it. Sure, it's interrap audio, but that's not the end of the world. Hopefully that'll change. Then we have a lot of guitar amp uh, sims that are single sims that come out, which is just one amp, right? And they're cool as well, if you like that kind of thing. But I think Tone Stack has become my third favorite um, sim because for $25 all up at this current price, you get stereo guitar in here, though you can get a splitter in here, just like you can with uh, bias effects. And that for 25 bucks is value, right? There's a lot of value to this and you're gonna see it. So now all my bullshit's out the way on why I think this is really cool and the price is very fair, especially uh, not trying to compare or, or put any other app down, but an Embrini app, a guitar app can be like $19 just for one kind of, you know, cab. 25 bucks and there's a whole lot of stuff here 
So today we're going to be um, going through a whole bunch of the effects and then we're going to go through a whole lot of metal stuff. I'm going to break out the seven string guitar and we're going to get dirty. Fucking dirty. Alrighty, so let's open it up first. Wow, yeah, check that out. I've got it on my voice already. Raw, you will pay. Now you will pay my suffering. Raw, no. So, um, now the reason it did that, my microphone's over here. I've got a microphone over here that's always connected. So opening it as a standalone, in the settings, it's defaulted to channel one, which is my microphone. So that's why that happened. But why am I opening it up as a standalone? Just to show you some of the features that you can use that you can't use when it's an AUV3. And those are up the top here. So you have an in-studio here. So you've got an eight-track studio. Um, I don't know if many people use these things. I just thought I'd show you anyway. This is a thing which used to be in heaps of guitar amp sims when they first came out. I personally don't use this stuff because you can import this into, you know, you can use this as an AUV3 in, in doors and such. You've got a little tape deck here where you can import web files so you can play along with your guitar and play along in your favorite chance. Yeah, so you've got that. And there's lots of control over this too with panning and effects sense. So you can add some effects to it as well. You have a metronome. Of course, you've got a metronome because everything's got a metronome. Yes, it, it is tape. So, well, this is your tape deck here, uh, uh, Russ. So, and you've got your BPM, so you can set your BPM. And here is your store. So here is where you can buy all of your lovely effects. And as you can see, the one in-app purchase is the uh, pot of gold. It's called pot of gold, pot of gold, pot of gold, <laughs> pot of gold. Um, and have a look. This is everything that you get. Just at a quick glance, there's a crap ton of stuff. Look at all this shit. Look at it all, man. All right. That's pretty impressive. So let's go. So I'm going to shut out the uh, shut out the uh, standalone. So you can use it as a standalone, or you can use it as AUV3. So let's open it up as an AUV3. I can turn the sound back up now, and let's grab some guitar. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's a point too. SM Baltic, and again, not slagging Nembrini or anything. Nembrini make awesome apps. Exactly what you've written, but it would be about two hundred pounds to get the whole set. So look, 25 bucks for something like this, no brainer, absolute no brainer. Let's open it up. Let's grab a guitar. Let's grab the six string first. We got some six string here, yeah. Um, just let me move my mic for a minute, squeak. I will point this down so you can kind of see my guitar. There you go, so you can kind of see it, there you go. So we've got the guitar. And let's have a look at the interface first. Here, in the app here. So uh, off the bat, you are presented with uh, this look. So across the top here shows you everything you've got in the chain. And down below is a large view of everything in that chain. And this is every uh, preset that you have set up, yeah? Nice and simple. You've got four banks up the top here. A, B, C, D, so you can flick between these banks and you can save anything you want into these banks. How do you save something into the banks? Let's show you. So um, let's just go grab a random sound here. We'll take this 800 crunch and to save them, all you do is hover your finger or mouse over the bank, so D, and hold down and it flashes and now it's saved. Really easy, yeah? So now click back. And now that 800 crunch is there. Yes, there's also MIDI functionality. So you would be able to use this with something like an iRig Stomp, which I have down here. I haven't connected it for this, but that would be definitely possible as well. So let's go across here. You've got settings here. This is where uh, you choose. So you've got um, output limiting. So you've actually got, see here it says select output limiting type to prevent digital distortion or clipping. So you've got, uh, three different types of output limiting there. 
You have processing quality, so you can change from good, better to best, which is really ace. You've got MIDI learn, a whole bunch of MIDI options in there as well. Heaps of MIDI options. You can change the, your knob behavior because we all love to make sure our knobs are behaving. Uh, next to that, you have an always active tuner. So this little tuner up here, and you can just turn this on or off and it's always there, always working, which is really nice, really like that. Um, you know, just to, I love how it's out of the way, nice and small. Don't have to worry about it. And the little button next to it, the units button, is where you can select, you can add new pedals and look at them all, look at all this stuff. So you've got amps, cabinets, distortions, filters, uh, EQ on wire, modulation, pitch mods, delay and reverb, dynamics, acoustic amps. So there's acoustic amps built into this as well. Really sweet. Uh, rotary, bass, and utilities. So there's a whole lot of stuff. And check this out, just the distortions. Look at all those distortions, man. You're kidding me. Look at all those distortions. 25 bucks. She's a beaut, mate. She's a beaut. So yeah, that is basically all you need to know. It's nice and simple. And if you've ever used Yonac apps before, you'll be really familiar with the way the presets are uh, looking. So up here where it has the name of the preset, you click that and look at that. So if you've, you've used any of their apps, Magellan, anything like that, look, it's exactly the same. Easy to save presets because each one has a little star next to it. So you've got a little star here, hit the little star, it saves to your little uh, favorites menu up the top. So that's nice and cool. Uh, there's You've got all these uh, presets here. To add a new um, add a new bank, you just press the little plus down the bottom and you can create a brand new bank. The A, you can rename it. This is to delete it. And here's your little export. So you can export your, your, uh, uh, your banks full of presets. Again, to the side here, pretty simple stuff. You can create a brand, you can save a tone and give it a name, really easy. I love this one here. So this little uh, pencil down the bottom, when you click that, that'll automatically update. So if I take this sound, this rockabilly sound here, and I change the volume or I move the microphone, see, so move the microphone there. Then I just hit this down here and it auto updates it. Simple, really easy to get around this. So if you're a fan of bias effects and kind of think, hey, it's really complicated, there's so much to learn with it all, this is a super alternative to that, definitely. Plus it's AUV3. Um, again, you can rename down here, delete stuff, and you even have a random, little random button. You can search for presets here as well. So that's really cool if you know the name of it. Plus you can hit the random and look at that. It just brings up random stuff. So if you're in the mood to just uh, hit the random, what am I gonna get? Cool, Let's. Um, I'm gonna shut off my mic and we'll run through some presets. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go.
that's only the first few that I've uh, had a play. Pretty nice, yeah. These are just presets as well. Hello, Jesse. Th glad you could join us. Hey, folks, if you've got any questions, Jesse is here from Rionic Software. Cool. Let's go through a few, through a few more, and then we'll, uh, we'll add a few pedals, mess around with some of the pedals, yeah? Woo. And if you come up with a sound that is a bit low, it's so easy just to jump in here. So you've got everything nice and big and you can come in here and uh, what have we got? Let's grab the volume here. We'll bring this up a little bit. To change mics is as easy as just touching the mic you want. So I'm just hovering my mouse over, super easy to move. So just touch the mic you want. And by moving it left and right, you can move it around the speaker and up and down moves it closer and back. So really, really simple stuff. You can see the distance. It tells you how many centimeters it's away down the bottom. Really nice feature that just giving you the distance really nice I, I i think that's super Tell you what I do like. There's nothing worse when you uh, get a guitar amp, uh, get a guitar amp sim, and everything's at full blast. I really like that uh, there's low levels for a lot of this stuff, so it gives you the opportunity to open it up. All right, give it the volume that you want, and as I said, how easy it is just to go back here and then touch the little pencil down the bottom here, and it's easy as that. Now it's saved to a level that I like. Right, so let's have a look at replacing a distortion for something like this, yeah? So once again, want to get out of the preset, so you've just got this little section here to get back. You can see everything in the chain here. Nice and cool. So we've got this TS Studio Distortion. All you need to do to change one of these is just hold your finger uh, 
sorry, up here, hold your finger up the top and you'll see you get this lovely selection. So let's just, I don't know, what's this one? Random, this is called Black Moor. Let's see what this does. It looks very metal, doesn't it? Yes, we love metal. It's not very metal at all. I thought it'd be much more metal than that. It's a bit black metal. Let's uh, see what else we have here. If we hold down. Metal distortion. Wow. This that's boosted up a bit. Let's give this a little bit of volume here. Yeah, man. What else? And to add anything else into the effects chain, very easy. So you just go to the unit section up here. And what do we want? Uh, do we want some reverb? Let's check out some reverb. We've got a rock, a rack reverb here. Let's just go with this one. So nicely like that it adds it into the chain you can grab it you can move it around wherever you want so it's nice and cool let's uh, play with that here we'll take, pull down the size a bit there put in my mic See how easy it was to flick away anything that you had? You just flick it away and it's gone. Nice and simple. I really love the preset look too, that it looks so familiar. It just makes it look it's incredibly easy to navigate. Let's uh, grab another distortion pedal. Is there a rock of it? Fine. Distorted view. What else do we have? Oh, one's called the gerbil. Wouldn't want to get that stuck up your butt. <laughs> Yes, I went there. That's the kind of smut you get from this show. Oh man, we have an orange juice here. Really? Dark old metal. Whoops. Now this is what I was talking about. For 25 bucks, you have the ability to uh, use a splitter here. This is what's really cool. Look at this, you can split. You can have these fully extensive chains. Like you would see in something like Bias FX 2, which you know is a hundred and something dollars to unlock. It's really incredible.
as you can see, having that tuner permanently on up the top, I didn't even have to reach for anything. It's just always sitting there. And I should pay more attention to it. So we're on the in, so and, and as, as well here, so with the presets, you've got all these banks. So you've got Pro 2, look, look at all this stuff. So this is all the stuff you're getting in the Pro 1, Pro 2, all of them have an absolute crap ton. Then you've got the classics, and don't forget, even in here, let's uh, find it. I think it's in this one. Maybe it's in classics 2. We have, if I can get my shit together. Um, so we even have an electric and acoustic duo. So yeah, in the uh, units here, you can see there is actually acoustic effects as well. So you've got an acoustic amp, you've got acoustic sim. Man, th that's pretty f That's pretty decent, you know? And uh, it's uh, pretty decent sounds that are built in just from the presets. So, I mean, if you really want to spend some time, like something like you do with bias effects to really get the best out of this, it's really easy to make, to make your own presets. And you can actually... You can export them and send them to somebody else, which I really love. So all you need to do is hit the little feature down the bottom here. Once you've made an effect like that, and you can export to files, import, e send an email. So that's super handy. I really love that. Super cool. Um, let's run through some sounds in this classic. So we'll go up to the top here. hear how easy it was to change the dynamic of that sound to really brighten that up just by moving the mic and hear the difference Yonek have done a fantastic job with uh, the miking stuff and, and the, the actual speaker boxes But sometimes with a lot of these sims, you can kind of, you know, not mention any names. There are some companies out there who make you buy additional mics and you get them and go, there ain't much fucking difference. <laughs> what the fuck have I done? So absolutely worth the, the price of admission for uh, AUV3. So I do believe this. Uh, let's have a look. We will go into the units and we'll answer that question. So I do believe it's only three mics that are here. So it's the three that are here. Because I can't see a, a, I'll just make sure. Yeah, so there's there's only, I'm pretty sure, but uh, Jesse will correct me if I'm wrong. And to go through the uh, speakers, there's a crap ton, look at them all. 
Holy shit, man. <laughs> I mean, if you can look at this and say, oh, there's not enough uh, choice here. I don't know. Bang your head against a wall with a nail in it, really. You, you probably need some help. Let's add a super gain to this. And again, with the, the heads as well, there's so many options. Look at this. It's really impressive. Um, let's even, let's... Uh, See, I want to add, add. I want to add. Where can I find what I want to add? Because I'm blind. That's why, even though I have glasses on. Let's add this acoustic. And we'll head over here. So, yeah, the current price is an introductory offer. So, get in because there's no, I don't think it's really been decided exactly when it uh, stops. So, I'd be best to not. F around if I was you because uh, yeah you know it, 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 you might miss out and 25 bucks is absolutely a steal definitely a steal for this it's uh, just uh, through this I'll turn off my mic in a sec So the, the, the possibilities are absolutely endless for this. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to unplug this. And we're going to go out today with some seven string action because, man, the distortion on this sounds absolutely sick. Um, with a seven string, we get our nice low B. And most of you know, like, I am... A ardent death metal head grindcore so let's throw in uh, this sound you ready for some fun <laughs> oh man
let's uh so we got that clean metal let's let's find it this one's called headbangers unite let's see what this sounds like with the six string with the seven I love this app. I think it's fucking awesome. <laughs> and there's look, I, there's not enough time to cover all this stuff. I, I seriously recommend, even if you just buy it for the four ninety nine, just to because there's plenty of stuff in there. I seriously recommend this if you're a guitarist. This is up there with, uh, and I know Tone Bridge is free, and we all love Tone Bridge because you know it just works. You just open it up, and it's cool. There's even some bass tones in here as well. So if you're a bass player, don't be afraid. Look. There's bass tones in here too. Uh, I'm just going to find. Ooh, we got a. Fun, man. <laughs> so this one's called Heavy OD. I'm going to save these. And look how easy it is to save these, yeah? Just hit the little stars, and they are now in your favorites. Nice and easy. Where were we on classics, I think? Is that where we were? Um, I think so. I can't remember. Yes. Oh, yeah, there we were. Heavy OD. Oh, man.
swap out. Let's swap out this pedal in how lovely it is. So we've got the gerbil attached here. So there's a dynamic. Let's swap out the gerbil and bring in my favorite, this metal distortion. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um, so it's $4.99, um, Audible Headache, and it's $19.99 for the full upgrade, which gives you everything. So you get all everything. But for $4.99, you get a hell of a lot too. <laughs> wow. Let's, let's go out on a bit of this. So there you go. This is one of the noise gates here. Uh, look what it's called. It says shut up and quiet. So we've got a shut up and a quiet. So it's just that little bit of difference there. The shut up is definitely more... Uh, effects i think so i think it's fucking brutal man definitely uh what else do we have let's see if i can find another Ooh, double octave heavy <laughs> So remembering there's plenty of other effects in here as well, yeah? So it's not all just heavy metal, it just is to be because... 
But uh, yeah, we'll just quickly go through before we wrap up. Got a few minutes. So a whole bunch of stuff in each uh, section. So new pitch mod stuff, uh, modulation. Look, so many uh, modulation pedals. There's just an absolute crap ton of stuff in here. Uh, wah pedals, filters, all funky ass yeah, shit, man. Um, and I'm guessing too, uh, not that I have connected it, but uh, it does look like, you know, it would work with my iRig Stomp because of all the MIDI selections. So I'm guessing it should work with the swell pedal as well. Um, I've been through the acoustic amps. So there's bass stuff in here as well. All right, so you've got bass heads, bass amps, and you've got uh, bass, oh, you've got a whole lot of bass stuff in here as well, which is really cool. You've got a, a bass muffin pie and a whole bunch of stuff. Plenty to play with. I think it's wicked, man. 25 bucks. But the deal is you got to get in. you got to get in and grab it now because the price is going to go up at some stage very soon. So, uh, yeah, I would do that if I was you. Honest, My honest opinion, and I'm not pissing in your pocket, you know I'm not going to shit in your mouth or anything like that because you may like it. Um, I think it's really cool. I think it... Uh, I think it, uh, you know, it's up there with it. So it's in my top three now. So I love my bias because it's ultra. It's like, you know, got so much going on in it. It is expensive. This is the perfect bias effects killer. It has a UV3. It has an absolute shit ton of stuff you can do in it. Lots of great sounds. Bass sounds, acoustic sounds, plenty of cabs, plenty of heads, plenty of distortion pedals. I mean, uh, once again, we'll just for the last sake, look at all those distortion pedals, man. And you can you can get your split signals and all that kind of stuff. What you can do in bias effects. It's a no-brainer, in my opinion. Thank you so much for uh, Yonak, Jesse, who's here, for hanging out in the chat and answering questions. Thank you for providing me codes to show this off. It's going to get a hell of a lot of use, definitely, on future recordings for me. It's going to be featured in many other uh, shows that I do. It's, I already used it in yesterday's show as well. Uh, yeah, mobile metal says distortion. I never use it. What is distortion? Ah, ah, what is that shite? Yeah, so grab it. It's cool. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, Jesse, for hanging out with us as well. Thanks for the code. And yeah, go out, folks. Go make some music. Do the things that make you happy. Go and make some mistakes. You know why? Because mistakes make you better. Please hit the like if you like what we do on the show here. It, uh, it does something to the algorithm. Uh, yeah, and all that jazz. And I will see you tomorrow because we have an awesome guest on the show tomorrow. We have an absolute old school legend on the show tomorrow. We have Laurie Bravo on the show. She was the lead vocalist, an absolute trailblazer in the metal scene back in the 90s. She sung in a band called Nuclear Death. She's practically the first female death metal vocalist, extreme metal vocalist. She now writes her own music. I met her. She actually follows Pete Johns now. So she's coming on the show. We're going to talk about old school metal gigs she's done, hung out, you know, all the great bands she knows, like Morbid Angel and all these bands she's played with in the past. We're going to be playing her uh, old music from uh, Nuclear Death, and we're also going to be playing her new music. If you're into metal, don't miss this show. It's going to be super sick. So we're keeping the metal flavor happening on the show. Yeah. All right. So that's tomorrow. And I'll let you know before we do go, on Sunday, the opening hour this week, I'm opening for Pete Johns' Happy Hour, and I'm doing a utensil special, which will be a whole lot of extreme noise terror from my band Utensils, which is experimental, avant-garde, crazy, off-the-cuff stuff. It's going to be fucking crazy if you... Uh, I'll probably be wearing that mask as well. <laughs> so join us for that a lot of it will be experimental mics all over the room a lot of things getting smashed around it's going to be off the wall off the chart something completely different hey thanks for joining us it's always a pleasure never a chore what do you say pete johns it's full of fucking swearing yep and doug's always dancing so thank you very much everybody have a great day and i will see you on the flip side yeah bye bye
it's full of fucking swearing. 